everybody, and welcome back to Lost Souls. So the weekend has finished, actually, as you probably already figured that out. Um, and I have got one comment from Sir Harry that tells me I have to use XP without repairing uh, augment. Now, when I looked it up, there are different types of XP, and I think you've got to use a specific one. And one way to do that, I think, is to use uh, actually additions and convert it to um, XP. Solidified XP or something like that, but I set up a quarry to go and do some ember stuff. So let's go and have a look at that second. Well, first of all, let's go and actually see if we can make a, an ember miner. I think it's I'm not exactly what it's sure, sure it's called, but it's a. I want to make some end stone. We'll see what that's for in a minute. Because I got lucky with a travelling merchant, and he sold me some chorus fruit. So I'll have a look at that in a second. So. This one here is the augment that we wanted to use. This one here was the repair and shift for details. Essence of knowledge must be supplied. So we need to supply essence of knowledge. So let's see if we can find that one. This stuff. Essence of no knowledge. So we can use solidified experience in a Magna Crucible will give us that. And I think this is the stabulation apparatus. Wow, some of these words are amazing. Um, we'll also produce essence of knowledge, but the solidified experience might be the way to go. And where's that gone to? Here. So the recipe for this one, we can make it through some experience junks, which I don't think I've actually found any experience chunks. Or an experience droplet, which is made from this stuff, which we can make from an experience seed, which we need for experience chunks for. If we can find it, then that'll be fine. But I think there's another way to do it. The phytogenic isolator will also make this. Hold on a second, I've gone wrong. What is the? Let's go back a bit. Can I go back? Yes. So let's have a look at the recipes for this again. Actual additions. So we need an experience solidifier. So let's see if we can make one of those. I wonder what it looks like. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I don't think I need any of the other stuff in here at the moment. An experience solidifier, sewage, come on. Fuel firebox, I think those are all the in industrial foregoing stuff. What that might be the one. Actually, this is experience solidifier. So, six of these, which we might actually have. Plus some empowered diamantine crystal blocks. And that's in the empower with light blue dye. This was the one that was giving me problems last time in lots of clay. So we could possibly do that. After that, it's not too difficult. It's relatively straightforward. Now, ex solidified experience. Now you'll see everything in here is getting a little on the empty side. Um, because I'm moving the base about. We're moving it to the overworld. We're going to have a look at that next. Actually, you'll see almost everything here is there empty now. In here, don't ask me what I've been doing here. I've basically been taking stuff out of. The idea was to take stuff out of this chest here, which is empty, which is actually bad because I've forgotten to turn it on again. I expect this is then full. Ah, oh, yes, it's full. We get witches' hats, and the idea was to take the witches' hat out of here and put it straight up into that chest but I'm having difficulty doing that so it's a solidified experience I have got some from somewhere other than I think it was a reward a quest reward oh well I'll have a look for that later on so what I'm going to do between episodes is to see if we can actually make one of those things a solidified experience so next thing it's also a drop, and we'd have to create the drops. Let's have a look. What else can we do in here? I want um, embers. And I want to make the. Oh, sort of the mine bit. <laughs> if I don't know what the mine's called to be done with you. So, machine accessible machine. I think it's part of a mechanical core. We need to one of these. 
What are the uses for that? Oh, an ember's ball. I think we need to make an ember's ball. So we need some chamomite brick stairs and a mechanical core. And iron and copper, that's actually not too difficult. So we might be able to make this one up. I've already made a mechanical core from the, from the previous one. So let's just see if we can make this out. Well, I'm missing one lead plate. Just a second, I have to... Right, this one. So the plate, I think it'll do fine. So let's see if we can actually craft that up now. Where's it gone to? There. In fact, I actually think we need two of these things. We need one for that, and we also need one for the other. So let's go make some more plates. I'm not sure I've got any more plates in here. I might be using the other type of plate now. So we've got these constant land plates. So let's go and put this downstairs into the compactor and get some more plates. That's in gear mode, you want the press mode. Let's put that into there. We should get two more plates. Because I think we need a second uh, mechanical core to bring, help to bring stuff in and out of the uh, bore. So let's do that again. We need a second one of these. Probably should make a probably should make a batch of those when you're actually doing this something. So the the bore was activator. Oh, we need chamomite rings to chamomite. So that's clay. It's not going to give me anywhere near enough, is it? And sand. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Sand is slightly a problem at the moment. No, it's not. Let's just get some sand. I'm going to have to make it because I've transported all of my sand to the overworld. <laughs> well, I knew I was going to have this problem. And it's part of the process. It's quite a long process to move everything away. So I just need some cobblestone. Let's go and get some cobblestone. Oh, stack. Let's take two stacks of cobblestone. That'll be fine. Won't interfere with that process at all. So we can put one stack into the pulverizer here, and we can put the other stack into the uh, crusher here. I think that'll do the job, and we'll get sand out of both of these, I think. Yes. So we're not going to need... Oh, we've got plenty of sand. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I'm not too bad for sand. I've prepared that. I've forgotten all about it. Ha. <laughs> if you believe that, you believe anything. Right, so that's how I go. I need some of this stuff. I think it's going to be enough. So that's how much more clay have we got in here. Got two more clay there, and I've probably got some clay in here. Which I can't see. But we might have some clay in here. Yeah, 56 clay. That should be plenty. Shouldn't have a problem with that. So we'll make, um, I think we'll make about, I mean we've got here 10, we'll do, we'll do 8. So we've got 64 of that. So now we need those chamomite bricks, don't we? I'm not exactly sure what we have to do for chamomite bricks. Uh, stairs, aren't we? So presumably just a straightforward chamomite stairs can we see those as a recipe there's a fence there oh, we go so we need and that'll give us four so we need chamomite bricks which is basically cam okay fine so if we put in i think that was six wasn't it we'll do eight sets which is 32 which is half those and I'm using blaze rods in here because I've <laughs> got so many. <laughs> it seems like a good thing. That, that'll cook for a long time as well. It's not going Blaze rods are uh, quite efficient. So now we need bricks. Give me eight. And then we should be able to make some stairs, which I think takes six, is it? Yes, it does take six. So we get our four stairs. And I think. 
From the ball, we should be able to make the ball almost immediately. Let's have a look. Do the uses of that one. I think this is the one we need. The ember ball. Or is it combustion chamber, catalyst chamber? It must be the ember ball, mustn't it? Let's go and find out. Let's put it down so it looks like the thing I'm expecting to look like. If not, <laughs> I'll have to look it up again. <laughs> Oh yes, I think that's the thing we need. Good. So let's pick it up again. I'm not sure which block we have to hit to break it. Let's pick it up. I suppose any block will do. Yes, it will. Good. Right, good. So that's smashing. So we've got, I think, most of the stuff that we need for the overworld. Have a look. Just, I want to just quickly check my inventory here. Have I got enough fluid ducts? I think we could make some more fluid ducks while we're actually at it. Let's do that. Ah. Let's do the rest. Let's take some of those. I should put those together. I'll probably leave those here. I probably don't need the chamomile bricks with me. So let's, let's leave that here. I probably do, but I'll have to come back and fix it that way. And I don't need the bricks either. I don't think they're just going to be decorative. So let's have a look. Recipe for this one. Can make 12, that'll do fine. We'll do that. So then we need some servers. I've probably got enough servers with me actually. Three will be fine. Now, what I said is I managed to get some chorus fruit. Now, why? And I got a traveling merchant in here, and he's the one that gave me the chorus fruit. So basically, I unlocked his trade cells I was doing last time, and I got this. Now, these things are very useful, in fact, essential. Let's have a look at this. That's some of the uses of this. Basically, what we're not going to mess around doing that because that's going to be a bit of an expensive waste for what we actually want to do. But what we need to do is cook it to make popped coarse fruit, and then with that one, we can make some purple blocks. And I we think with the purple blocks, we can make a seed. This one here. So we need four of these. So we need eight purple blocks. And each one of these is going to give me four, so we just need eight. So I'll just pop eight of these cores in here like this. So now that, that with the end stone, if I remember rightly, was just recipe like uh, that'll, that'll do actually. Like that, wrong way around. Ha! Huh. Let me have a look at uses of this one. Ah, oh, that's what we did in was what I needed to do, wasn't it? Eight, fantastic. And then that should work with the end. So I don't think it matters which way around you put it in. No, you don't. So we should end up with four clusters. Good. Now, then the uses of these, we should be able to do that fairly straightforward. So we just did a tier four crafting seed. Not in there. In here I've got a for crafting seed and we need four of these. And my inventory is totally full. Fantastic. Um I'm gonna have to get rid of some of get rid of these buckets of water. I don't think I need those with me anyway. I'm not quite sure I've got them. So now we should be able to make a seed. Let's try that again. Uses of that one. And we get our end seeds. Now the end seeds will give us some good stuff, so let's go and get these end seeds into a garden cloche. So I've got on this one. Uranium seeds. Well, we can take the uranium seeds out of there because it's already full. <laughs> I've got plenty of uranium for as long as I need it now. I reckon. Let's go and put these seeds up here. Oh yes. Oh, actually. Oh no. That's actually not very good. Because this is supposed to be full of... And there's a really nasty bug in here, and I don't know what's causing it. Inferium seeds, and there aren't any in there. So I guess all the inferium seeds are probably in the planter. Here, look at this. Four stacks of... Can I get rid of those? And what's happening is... I'm going to put them back, and I'll show you what's happening. So I haven't shown you already. 
I didn't get them all in. But I can put the rest of these into this hopper below here, like this. Uh, absorption hopper below. And it's going to push them up as the seeds get used like this. What's happening is this. The seeds here and these and this side are just getting thrown away like that, you see? And they're getting then picked up by the absorption hopper and should be put back into here. So I don't know what's causing that. And what I did to fix the water is I, I put the pitcher plant here and a mechanical user in here, which is set to activate block with item. And he, <laughs> well, that was good timing. He just happened to put in a bucket of water then. And you saw how fast that was. So it went through here and back in here, waiting to be transported out. So on here, I've got a filter pushing this out. And that'll be a bucket. That'll be an empty bucket. And this one on here will have a bucket of water, a water bucket. So water buckets will be pushed out of here and come into there, and then empty buckets will go back there. And as soon as the, the bucket space in here, that right clicks it, as before, to push the water into that. Very simple, little bit of a process. Now let's go over to the overworld and have a look. I'll move my thing, of course. So let's go over that. Before I go over that, let me just double check one thing. XP level 16, yeah, I'll do fine. So I got a bit lucky. So what I did here is I put down a whole load of uh, storage drawers down here like this. And I've basically been feeding them from the side here. And you can see this one's already blocked because it's full. It's probably blocked with um, golden apples or something like that because I haven't got any more upgrades. I need to get some more upgrades for that. It doesn't matter that much. In fact, while I'm here, it gets rid of this end stone and sand. I don't need that with me at the moment. Now, what I have done, let's go down, down here, is I have been preparing a, sp a space to do some ember stuff. It's actually right beside the quarry. Oh, wrong way, portal quarry. And I got lucky. In fact, I got lucky twice. So there we are. Doesn't happen every day. So you basically put this quarry down here. I've put some interdiction torches around here so that they, the mobs don't bother me too much. But look, I got five to cranium dust, which is pretty good. And the rest of it doesn't really matter that much. And it wasn't even using a fortune quarry, I was just using a clearing quarry. Let's go down and have a look at this. Ah, so nice having that. I got lucky a second time too, where is it now? There. Some rock crystal ore. So let's take my uh, lucky fortune pickaxe. I don't know if it's going to make any difference or not. Let's open Let's try getting this out after that. Ooh, more of it. <laughs> That's unusual, isn't it? Let's uh, see all minus in that case. Did I get four or five crystals or six? Let's go over to a space where I've got some space and put them in there. Three, four, seven crystals. That's not too bad, is it? And then I just fill this in. The best way to fill it in is with this one like that and it takes the right thing out of there so I just made this big shaft up here like that just dug straight the way down with clearing quarry till I got bedrock and then made it a little bit bigger underneath here so with a bit of luck now we should be able to put this mechanical board down I think well I'm not 100% sure to be done this way. let's just go and do it in this corner like, oh that's the mechanical use I don't want that one I want the other one. Uh, pickaxe, yeah. Now, I thought this was supposed to be up one there, but maybe that's maybe that's changed. And I know on the top here we've got this one input like that, and then you can put a mechanical core in it, and then you get multiple inputs. That bit I have figured out by watching that video. So here we've got a chest. So all I need to do now is to put down some, oh actually item ducks, what did I make? Fluid ducks, well that was bright wasn't it? Oh, sorry, I don't need those, I just need some 
these will do. Signal plating item ducks. Very expensive for what I'm doing before, but they're making a difference. There's no shortage of either. So let's put down a chest on the end of this. And do the same thing at this side over here. Like that. I thought you're supposed to be able to see the wheels under this thing. Maybe I've got this wrong. So then we just need to serve it on here like this. Oops. And we need to activate that. And I need to go and get some stuff to put in there, like coal or to give it some power. And then out of here we should get whatever we get out of it, which is embers, I think, or ember crystals. So now I've got to go back to the to the base. It looks like it's night time. I'm going to get some. I think we've got plenty of blaze rods here, so that should do as a fuel. Any fuel I think that you can use is fine. Let's have a look what fuels we've got in here. Blaze rods, we've got 16. 16,000 will take a stack of those just in case that works. And coal, I don't think we've got a stack of coal. Let's take a stack of coal. That should definitely work. I think you're supposed to be able to use anything that you can use in a um, furnace. I guess the mobs are about. Let's just try this with coal, first of all. And <laughs> is it working? I thought you're supposed to see wheels under this thing rotating it. Well, I know it takes a while, and I'll probably have to put one of these on there, so let's do that anyway. Let's see if I get out of there. If anything, nothing. Unless I've got the wrong block. But I'm pretty sure that is the right block. Unless I'm supposed to put it on the block. That could be the other thing. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. Anyway, what we've got now, of course, is we've got some draconium dust. And we can use that. So we can actually put this guy down here and see if we actually got any more trades. Oh, yeah. So let's put him down. So he's got See if he's got any trade. So, so I right click him with this something or other. He is the one that gave me quartz fruit, and it was locked last time I looked at it. So it's still blocked here now. So I've got to either buy something else off him, which I'll do at another time. So I thought I'd just show you that they they do exist and they still exist, which is good. In fact, what I'm we doing? Well, let's go straight back to base. So I have to go to find my warp stone, which is here. And we're going to make a seed and get this seed done. So we want to go to the nether base. Wait a few seconds. And whenever I come out, I'm always facing this direction. And I put down the waste, the waste stone in this direction. So obviously it's like a mirror. You always go, it's like the fireplace thing, really, isn't it? With the flu transport, flu travel. Oh, and I also picked up some raven feathers. And that's actually another tip. I think it was to Harry again. He said there is a progression and it should be in the quests. So the first quest was Raven Feathers. Now what I was going to plan to do was something else. Let's see if we can do that. What I want to do, I don't know whether that's going to work. I probably have to go and put down a chunk loader as well. So we'll, I'll investigate that between episodes because it's embers is what we need for the other bits and things to power them up, which I'm sure you all knew anyway. So let's have a go at... Um, well actually let's get these seeds made first of all use the, click on this one to get the uses of that one basically you just melt it I think in an ordinary furnace will give us four draconium ingots and I don't know what the uses of that you can make other things in here with dust so, and I think you can get the dust by grinding up stuff so let's just put four pieces of this into here and that'll give us four draconium ingots and with those draconian ingots we can make a seed so let's have a look at the uses of that one lots of things to do with draconium stuff so yeah. 
there we are so it is a tier six five seed no problem we've got tier five seeds in here and some essence so premium essence we've got plenty of that as well so we should be able to make a seed just by going like this it's on the corners isn't it i'll tell you what we'll do we'll put down the in the middle here and we'll just make a cross of those and then we just take this around the outside like that it's done this done the recipe for all seeds and then we can go and take this and we can go and pull that into another cloche and we'll get some draconium essence which we can actually start to make some op weapons and stuff like that which is also not going to be i'm not going to complain about some nature seeds in there i've probably got enough nature essence because it's already filled up let's try this one there and what's happened over here see i've got some end essence now which is not going out because everything's blocked up at the moment <laughs> and i think it's actually blocked up in the in the in the transportation chest here it must be it's the only place it can get blocked up actually let's have a look in here did i not oh my goodness that's full already and I, <laughs> it was empty when we started the episode so is there anything in there that i actually want the answer is possibly no infinity booster cards i've got loads of those don't care about them anyway we could do though let's take those out of there and just put it as an exception i probably better using them put that into there like that and then that would then end up in this chest here oh you see it's already filled up with, with different cards and books and things so we can take the books out of there and so that is working i did get the witch's hats coming into that's good because that was one way one of the things i had a little bit of a problem with let's put that into where i've got the books here and it's full huh i mind i'll just put one, I'll just put one in here for the time being be lazy oops right let's go to the right place i'll remove this afterwards and it's just a temporary thing let's turn this one what's that one off let's turn that one on to stop that let's turn this one off to get it coming out of here i don't think there's anything i need in here at all there will be some interesting things like shadow step three whatever that thing is and there's usually one or two but i've got so many enchanted stuff up stuff at the moment i don't really need any of it do i so let's just go into here this is a sort of bit of a pain to be honest with you so i've got two more of these <laughs> and you see it's just full full of armor so it must have been building up over a period of time let's let's just turn that on in fact i don't want the hat to go out And slowly this should start to go out and then it unblocks everything else as it goes through i'm hoping that this hat the witch's hat ends up in that chest that is the intention so i'm just watching it while it keeps doing it right now it's gone let's have a look see if it's actually end we're not sure it's ended up in whether it's been pulled out of here or not ah it has fantastic why do I want witches hat well you can ask the answer to that's actually fairly straightforward it's you see when you soon you put it in it gives you a thing i didn't really want to do that but um a status or a level or what it's not anymore a witch's hat so we can empty this out fact i think we can just let that run through like this and as you can see it'll take the it'll take the armor out of here and the rest of this should simply just disappear once all of the armor's gone out which it has done as you can see it comes in at the top here first of all and then goes out at the, the top as well so it's not a, it's the first it's last in first out principle that one so what i'm going to do is turn it off let this thing empty out slowly like that 
There's the one charm I haven't got is a witch's charm. Witches are the ones which still which can still kill you. So let's look at the uses of this. So we can make end stone. We can make more purple block and we can make some chorus fruit. We got natural resistance. So we're all basically right. We don't need to do anything else. So from that we can make pop cup and we can make end stone, purple block. And you know how to make the recipe for end stone. It's simply this one here, fluid block transfer. So whether you need it on a stone barrel, of course. You put lava into stone barrel and you just drop glowstone into it, and you'll end up with end stone in the barrel. So simple as that. The other one that you can do that with is um. Let's have a look. Tell me recipes for that one. No, it doesn't uses. So you can make you can make cobblestone with lava. Ah, okay, fluid on top. Fluid transform. Which yeah, we've done that one. And here we got some end stone. You can make end stone. Clay I've been doing the same way. What else can you make? Soul sand and sky stone. Okay, that might be important for um, applied energy sticks. And of course you can you can make it by composting as well. So that's good. Now what I need to do is find a place to put this stuff. Uh, these essences, because I've got no space at the moment at all. So... <laughs> Let's just find somewhere to squeeze this into and forget where it is that'll do for the time being. Right, so now I think it's possibly time to oh, I wanted the I wanted the essence, didn't I? I think I'll see. I want to check this ember recipe out because it should be an ember ember ball. So let's have a look. Is there something other than that block? Because it is supposed to be a three by three by two structure. No, nope, this is the one that's it. Hey, let's go back to the yeah. overworld and see if that's actually worked. You can see I've got quite a lot of work to do to move the base. Oops, and I got a new mouse. <laughs> Oh, no, I need some XP. Oh, I know where my XP might be thinking about it. Solidified experience. I think I put into one of these. Ah, yes, that's what I wanted to do. I just remembered by looking at something on there. No solidified experience. That presumably means I've got to go and grind some mobs with the right type of tool. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to, this is strange, I'm pretty sure I haven't used it to tiny torches. What I want to do is I want to emboss something. Like, what we need for embossing, have I got any space in my inventory here? A little bit. Witch's hat, I'll put away, I need six more and then I've got enough for the actual witch's hat, um, for the witch's uh, what's it called? I haven't got it in there. Good, I'll put it in there. For the witch's um, charm. So the witch, I become invisible to witches. And in here I've got five of the six. So we need another. Well, I've got one. Plus another few more hats and then we're, we're ready. We can actually do that one. Then we can't be seen by witches. And since witches are the one which probably will kill you if it's anything that's going to kill you. Because the rest of it's fairly straightforward. They just hit us, aren't they? They don't try to poison you. We've got anti-wither anyway, so that's fine. Now, what do I want to do here? I want to move some stuff around. I wanted to move this key. Let's move this key. I think the key belongs in here like that. Okay, and I'll put this in there over here. And that will do for the time being, I think, yes. We're going to put these infinity booster cards in in here. How many have we got now? 42, 46. Ridiculous. Just have about one. Um, right. I need to put this away. So I want to emb emboss something. Let's have a look at what I need to do for embossing. It's in the Tinker's Construct book, isn't it? I know it's the three crystals plus the part that you want to do. So let's see. <laughs> right, that's the book. So, page 130 something or that. I think it was 
Now oh, there it is, look. So we need three crystals, a block of gold, and the part. So the part I'd like to do is to take a um, looting upgrade. Now what should, should tell me what I've got for looting in here, shouldn't it? So I think the looting one is, what have we got in here? We need the modifiers. Now, is it possible to have a um, lapis part palace what does palace do okay draw speed on spades this makes spades go faster <laughs> so what I'm looking for is oh actually it doesn't in fact it doesn't do that did it stone ban I'm looking for Lapis. I'm not 100% sure whether they can make a part. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's try it and find out whether they can do it. So we've got some lapis in there, 16. Probably need two. And I'm not sure if we can smelt it or whether we can actually emboss this or not. So let's we go. So here's the part builder. So we need a knife blade. Because I want to do this on the um, shuriken. Knife blade pattern. Now, can I do this or not? No. Gem lapis. So, what is the enchant for M um, Fortune in Tinker's Construct? That's going to be a bit awkward to find out. Um. So I suspect I'm looking here for looting or something like that. Holy. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Because what I want to do is to make a looting one. Mama, ecological. Oh, those are just bowstring stuff. Tell you what, I'm going to have to do some looking that up and find out what the right one is, and then make the, the looting enchant on that. But what we can also do is complete a quest, because I've got these. And the uses of those with a torch brick and a glowstone will give us our magic feather. So I'm missing a torch brick. We've got torch bricks. Ah, where are they? Here we go. Let's try that again. The magic map is used by this magic map focus. And the use of this, so it will actually make a magic map. It's just paper around that. It's paper, no big deal. With fire, it rides. Okay. <laughs> is that eight pieces? I'll take the forty-six, and we'll see. So now we've got a magic map, and that completes dungeon map quest. And why do we want to do that one? Because if we go down here and we have a look at which one is it? Other worlds. We've now completed this quest. So that take then takes us on to the other quest. So we've got questing item here. Let's just claim the reward for this. So we got just back. So now we've got Naga, the Naga. So we get a Naga trophy, then we get that one done. Back. And the other side is a Ram trophy. Back. Now the reason I wanted to put looting on there is because um with the oh, we get a Twilight Lich. Okay, fine. So we see what we're coming up here. An ironwood armor. Um so we know what order to do these things in. So the Naga actually if I remember, it isn't actually all that difficult, especially with the weapons we've got. But with looting on it, we'll definitely get a trophy. So let's open up this chest. You'll probably get one anyway. I think you do. Oops, what did I just press? Oh, yeah. That's how I just... Oh, great. <laughs> that's the one with the most items in that's going to be... At least it's got a magnet. I can flip, shift-click these into place like that. Well, 
most of them that is. And they flew everywhere, didn't they? Is there anything else floating around there? Oh yes, just one or two bits. <laughs> Salmon jerky, okay, good. So, obviously, got that reward about four times now for eight of those. It's very good food, but uh, food doesn't seem to be a problem in this pack, unlike Forever Stranded One, where it was a, a real pain. <laughs> so, let's put these into here like that. And let's go back to the overworld and see if we've got any ember crystals. This thing, this thing's always get going to get blocked because of the way I've done it. But is there anything in here I can take out? So hemp fibers. We could remove some hemp fibers from there, for example, and put them in somewhere sensible. Well, I suppose it looks like a fairly sensible place to pick it. And then that will actually increase over time. But because I've run out of space in the golden apples, which are here. And 512, it's not letting anything go out of there, so that's its own problem there, but that's not a big deal, is it? I'm going to dig up this stuff. I'll probably take away the glass, to be honest with you. We don't think, I don't think we need the glass portal. Oh, quarry. Of course, with this armour, I just don't care about dropping, just let, let it fall down. Oh, we've got some ember crystals and some ender, ember shards, and we needed those two. So it is working. And we've got our quest ember completed. Fantastic. So the next thing we have to do is build a refinery, I guess. That's going to look press four in that one. So that is... Which one is it now? It's magic, isn't it? Magical world. So now we've completed this quest here. So we've got our ember shard. And it's got a second part to it. So we've got to make an ember crystal and an ember activator. Okay, good. So at least some progress has actually been made. So the ember crystal presumably is made by the ember activator. And I thought, if I'm not mistaken, the back here. The next one of these is going to be something like this one. Which is presumably um, a refinery or something like that. That makes more sense. I don't know why. It's a bit confusing when I think these things. I think it should have started from here and worked its way across. But that's it. So that's it for this episode. Next time we're going to go to the um, Twilight Forest and see if we can deal with the, the Lich and the Naga. And until then, I'm going to say bye for now. <laughs>